what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and before we get into today's video guys i just want to say if you're a fan of those legends of the game or if you're someone that's younger and you may not have seen some of these lesser known legends play i would definitely recommend subscribing to the channel because that's all i focus on also guys if you enjoy content like this i would greatly appreciate if you'd posterize that like button that would help me out a great deal with the youtube algorithm but with that being said guys let's go ahead and let's get into today's video now guys in all honesty i mean look i won't lie this was a video or this was a build that i i've debated on making right um and it's just simply because carl malone off the court i'm not a fan of his at all um, some of the things he did off the court uh to me it was just it was just some of the worst things you could do um you know but with that being said guys you know with this channel you know i like to focus on the player's ability on the court right um so i know that you know there's some of you guys out there that you're probably a, you, you probably like carl malone for the things that he was able to do on the court um and for that reason i thought you know i i just need to put that aside you know that that off the court stuff i just need to you know put that put that aside and just do a build you know and base it on you know what he was able to do on the court um so i decided to do that i mean you know even though it's not something that like i said i went back and forth on it um it's just it's just one of those things that uh it, it's not really something i want to get into here right i mean it's it's just it, it was just a bad situation right it, and it just wasn't wasn't something that that i would you know want as a role model i'll put it that way um so yeah let's go ahead and let's just get into this build now guys i mean there's a couple ways you could do this right you, you could go the mostly shooting with with a little bit less defense um or you could also do the mostly defense with uh, a little bit less shooting or you could go the route of uh, 50 50 if you wanted right um which i know it's here somewhere uh, you could do 50 50 if that's what you wanted uh but me personally guys i feel like the mostly shooting with a little bit less defense is the way to go now bear in mind guys you, you're not going to have the driving dunk and things like that that you would want necessarily with the malone build and that's fine with me though me personally that's fine if that's something that you want um, with the malone build then I would probably recommend, you know, going with one of these other, like maybe this one, um, or the, uh, the 50, 50, um, shooting and finishing or the one that's slightly more finishing. Um, you know, so it really depends on you, right? Me personally though, guys, you know, I, I like the, the mid range game that Malone had, right? You know, and that, that was a really big part of his game. I feel he also had a really, really nice post fade. So those are two things that I don't want to take away from this build. So that's the reason why I'm doing the pie chart that I'm doing here. And also with it being a Malone build guys, you know, really you want to do the, the well-balanced, uh, physical profile just because it's the only one that fits. I mean, I know Malone was really, really fast for his size at the time, um, you know, but he was also really strong and he had, you know, he had, he had good vertical as well. Um, but we're just going to do the, you know, the well-rounded one, even though it's not quite, you know, where we would want that to be, right? So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I put the close shot, I maxed it out, I maxed out the driving dunk and the standing dunk. Um, we're going to go ahead and put our mid-range up. We're going to put our three point shot. Um, we'll put that up to like a 65 because he really didn't shoot a lot of threes. Right. And we'll put our free throw shooting up to 70 because Malone wasn't the greatest of free throw shooters. Right. That's, that's pretty well known. Um, but we will max out that post fade for this guys. We're going to max, uh, we're going to put our pass accuracy all the way up. We're going to max it out. We're going to also max out our uh, ball handle in our post control. And then what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to go ahead and put our interior defense all the way up and we're going to come down and we're going to put up our, uh, 
offensive and defensive rebound, and then our lateral quickness. And then the 16 that we have remaining, we'll go ahead and throw that on our block, okay? So let's look where we are, okay? You've got a really, really good badge layout with this, right? You've got six finishing, 18 shooting, 10 playmaking, and uh, 16 defensive and rebounding. So you've got a really, really solid badge layout with this build. And, you know, Mahoney was 6'9". We're going to have to take the weight up to 250. Now with the wingspan, guys, look, you could go one of two ways, right? You could leave it where it is or you could max it out. You know, it really depends on you as the person, right? And how you want to do this. So yeah, I will say this, okay, if you're someone that you struggle at shooting, um, I would not I would not max it out, right? I would just uh I would take it to right here, you know, which is the the standard. But you know, if you're someone that you've gotten comfortable with shooting in this game, I would go ahead and max it out just to gain that little bit extra with the offensive and defensive rebounding. Because look guys, with a seventy seven mid range, um you know, once you max this out, you know you're going to be at an 81. You're going to be able to knock that down, right? And you're going to have a really, really strong 85 post fade. But if you look, you get all the things that you should have with the Malone build, I feel, right? So you're going to have a close shot uh, of uh, 89, which is really good. You, that's going to help out your driving dunk quite a bit as well because you're now going to be a 74. Um it's also going to bring up your standing dunk tremendously. Um, and you'll be at 88 once you get this build maxed out. Um, and then if you look at the defensive side, right, you're going to have a really good de interior defense of 84. Um, you'll have a decent lateral quickness of 70 um, with a defensive rebound of 95, offensive rebound of 87, and a solid block of 74. So, you know, in all honesty, guys, if you're someone that you're comfortable in shooting, I would definitely recommend, you know, maxing out that wingspan because that's going to bring those other things that, that Malone had. That's going to bring them more into the picture, right? So for this, guys, I mean, you could really do whichever you prefer. Uh, me, personally, I'm just going to do glass cleaner um, simply because he was a really good rebounder. And you've got a glass cleaning lockdown, you know, which, you know, is kind of what I figured we would get with this build. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's go in and test it, right? Let's look at our badges. We'll get this maxed out. So for your finishing badges, guys, I mean, there's a couple of things that you could do. But here's the thing, right? With, you know, with big men build and players that you're going to be playing around the build, around the rim a lot with, I feel like. Fast Twitch, Grace Under Pressure, right? Those are two that you really, really want. I feel like Rise Up is another one, right? So, you know, with those those three, you definitely want them in some some form, right? Um, now, for the the other ones, I mean, you could do uh, you could do three other bronze badges. Uh, me personally, though, because you are playing. A power forward, I feel like fearless finisher is needed because you are going to be getting bumped a lot and things like that with this build. So I think that that's really a way to go with that. Um, if you wanted to, you could do mouse in the house, though. You could do putback boss. Um, you could do unstrippable uh, hook specialist. I mean, yeah, you know, you back down punisher. I mean, there's there's several ways you could go with it, but I think that this right here is the way that I would go with it. Um, so for, for uh, shooting guys, we definitely want Fade Ace. We know we want Hot Zone Hunter, right? Um, those are two that, that I feel, um, you know, are a must for this build. Um, you don't need to do Limitless Spot Up because you're not going to be shooting threes with this, right? Um, catch and Shoot is a good one. I definitely do believe that. Um, blinders is a good one. I would, you know, I would, I would do Blinders on uh, Bronze. And dead eye on hall of fame or you could switch them around it really depends on your preference this is just my preference and then uh, for that last one guys i mean you know you could really go for you know whichever whichever you prefer um you know so it really depends on you right but uh you know i think uh 
And I think with this build, I would go ahead and just do like maybe, uh, you know, because I, I really, you know, I really like difficult shots, but I don't know if that's really going to be something that's needed with this build. Um, you know, so I think volume shooter would be a good way to go because it's going to increase uh, your ability to knock down shots the more that you go. Um, you know, it's just so many of these shooting badges, right? I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of focused on three point shooting. Um, and we don't really, you know, we don't really, we're not going to be focusing on that with this, right? This is going to be a mid range build. Um, so we'll, we'll just go with that. Now for this guys, look, break starter is a must, uh, glue hands. I feel like is a must. Um, I would definitely do unpluckable. Um, and then, you know, for that last one, guys, I mean, the, the one that I always like to use, right, is I like to use bell out at least on bronze. And that's just because anyone that's played 2K long enough that you realize that, you know, there's a lot, you get a lot of bad animations at times when you're going in for dunks and layups and things like that. And that, that bell out really just kind of helped you um, in a situation like that if you need to pass out of that, right? You know, now bullet passer would be a good one. Downhill would be a good one because, like I said, Malone, he was he was really, really fast for his size. And because you are going to be losing um, a little bit of uh, speed with this build, um, downhill would definitely help. But you've also got post playmaker that you could use needle threader. I mean, there's a lot of really good playmaking badges that you could use for any position. It's one of my favorites. Um, now for defense, guys, we know that we want to do rebound chaser, right? Um, you'll, you want to do, you can do worm. I, I know we want rim protector, right? We want worm. Uh, we want intimidator. We want interceptor. Um, you know, and these are just ones that we normally do. Um, and then for the other guys, I mean, you, you definitely want to do brick wall, right? Because it, with a loan build, you're going to be setting a lot of picks. And, you know, that's, that's the one that you're going to use, um, you know, so, so I really feel like guys, these, these, these are really good badge layouts and this is a really good, uh, Malone build, uh, you know, and Malone, I mean, he was, he was a really, really good player, you know, and, you know, especially of his time, um, you know, so you know, can't really can't really take away from the guy on it with with his own accord ability. Like I said, it was just the off the court things that really made me struggle with. You know, should I even bother with making this video? Um, but I'm sure that you know some of you guys that watch these videos, you're you're likely a fan of Malone, um, at least the player. Um, so I wanted to do this build more or less for you guys. I, you know, I didn't want to. You know, I feel like. When you let little things like that in, you're kind of being a little bit selfish, especially when you're doing something like a YouTube channel, um, because you, you know, I'm not making these videos for me. I'm making these videos for you guys that watch the videos. Um, so I kind of, you know, in certain situations, I need to let these personal things go like this. It's just Malone was one of the harder ones, right? I mean, because it's the things that he did. Um, but yeah. I mean, there you have it, guys. I really think that's a good Carl Malone build. You know, if you enjoy those legends of the game, I would recommend subscribing to the channel. And if you enjoy videos like this and you enjoy those legend builds, I would greatly appreciate if you would posterize that like button. That would help me out a great deal. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you are. Have a good one.